The other thing we had were the interest tables. In the passageway, as you came into the playgroup, we put a table. And on that table, it wasn't just um, nature. It was, and when I say just, I, I know I have said that nature is so important to them, but it, was, it wasn't It was just like people often put, well, I'll have a vegetable table, or I'll have a leaf table. It was everything you could possibly think of. If there was, say, voting going on in the, in the country at the time, then we'd have a voting table. Now, we wouldn't put the members of the different political parties on the table, but we'd put, like, uh, a number of different kinds of apples on the table, and they would vote about which apple they would like to have, whether it was a red one or a green one or whatever. And they just loved voting. Or it might be whether they could have two or three biscuits, and, of course, they loved that one and they got the real message then. Some of them would say, I'll have two. And the others would all say, no, you don't want two, you want three, vote three, or we won't get three uh, biscuits. And so they got the whole idea about voting, but it could be anything, it could be fish. We'd go across the road and buy a smelly old fish, and they'd look at him and get excited about him. Uh, it could be a band, and um, we'd, there was just no end to the things you could have. Uh, on your table. It was when I thought about it first I was very limited to vegetables or leaves or things like that and then I realized that there were all sorts of things in a child's life that was never explained to him that we needed to bring that step further and talk about and make it something that they could talk about when they went home to go back to the voting, they would say at home then, and what are you going to vote for? Uh, and the parents would be amazed that they had any ideas about the voting at all. And it meant that they were part of the general discussion, which as any of us know, as all of us know, who have had anything to do with children, that they like to be part and parcel of what's going on, and they like to have their say. So that was the interest table. and. Parents have said to me that the child, on a Monday, when the table would have changed, the child would run down the passageway to see what the table was going to be. And there would be songs and exercises we would do and jigsaws about the table in the playgroup. But it'll never be closed, let me tell you. And, uh, and I'm not just talking about the number of children that come back to visit me. And they are fantastic. It'll never be closed because it's in my mind. This room is full of children now. This room will always be full of children. I can hear them laughing. I can hear them in the morning running down the side corridor and coming in. They will always be with me. And it has been a fantastic experience in my life. Now that might seem as if that's a sad thing. It's not a sad thing. They are just always here. And I'm so lucky to have these children with me all my time.